Cauliflower ear happens when you take a big impact on the side of your head in your ear. What happens is your ear is going to fill up with fluid. Um, if you think of it like a balloon filled with wet cement. So if you take all the wet cement out of the balloon, it's just a regular deflated balloon. But if you leave it in there, it's going to harden up. So basically what happens is when you get impacted, your ear is going to fill up with fluid. If you remove the fluid, your ear looks normal. If you don't, it's going to swell up and become a giant mess. And it's going to harden like that and it's going to stay like that forever until you have to get surgery on it. It's easily manageable though and you can get someone to help you at home. I'm going to drain my cauliflower ear. It's a pretty simple operation. We're going to stick the needle into my ear and we're going to pull out some fluid and then I'm going to put ice on it for about 10-15 minutes. Ice and pressure. It's going to be pretty sweet. Well, this one um, is just starting to puff up right here on the inside. So we're going to stick the needle into about this area here and try to draw as much fluid out as we can. If I don't, it's going to, the fluid inside my ear is going to harden up and it's going to, my ear is going to keep this shape. And since I have a fight coming up in about a month, it's going to probably keep on getting bigger. So it's going to have to be a regular treatment I'm going to have to do for about a month. These are the basics we're going to need during the cauliflower ear. I've got uh, some ice in the Ziploc bag here. Just so afterwards I can put um, ice and pressure on it to prevent swelling. I've got a sterile 22 gauge needle. So I'm just going to pull the fluid out basically with that. It's pretty simple. And I got a cloth here to stop bleeding and put a little hydrogen peroxide on that to prevent uh, infections. Um, this is the needle right here. So basically this part is going to fill up with the fluid that is in my ear back here. So, you know, pretty gross, but pretty sharp, got a pretty good caliber hole, got the best one I could get, 32 whopping cents. For this I'm just going to take my glasses off, I know you think it would be harder with it. Got my needle here, I got my other camera up here so that I can get a better angle. So I just look here quickly. And I'm going to feel a slight pinch as I poke it in. And now hopefully I can pull some out. Okay, so that is the basics right there. Right here was the fluid that was in my ear. And as you can see, my ear is compressed down with just a small little hole from the prick. Um, it's basically deflated now. That right there, that is all the fluid that was just in my ear. Um, is about. Um, that is about as dead on one cc as you can get for um, the amount of fluid I just pulled out of my ear. I have a fight in about a month, so I'm going to have to do this every day, probably leading up to my fight to make sure that it doesn't keep coming back. Easy way to prevent it is to wear headgear. Um, I don't know why I choose not to wear headgear. It's probably a stupid move. Most of the guys don't, you know, so... <laughs> Pretty gross though. So if you don't like needles getting stuck in your ear, where are you?